Yo, what's good guys, Chewy here. Today I want to show you guys how to get your Operation Hope swap set in DFO. Getting your swap set is a bit confusing if you're a new player and have never done it before. The game never really tells you about it and it is a system every character needs to do. If you don't, you are losing a huge fraction of damage. The point of your swap set is to empower your buff skill levels and increase damage. Doing this basically buffs all your damage by a huge amount. You need a swap set, there's no way around it. Luckily getting your Operation Hope swap set is pretty easy. The main way of getting your swap is by running Operation Hope in Harlem. You can do this dungeon 3 times a week and you get around 400 Abyss Fragments per week. You can use these fragments at Cerberin NPC in, in Harlem right next to Sexy Ass Strawberry Nose for Operation Hope boxes. Although Operation Hope is the main way of getting Abyss Fragments, it is not the only way. You can get majority of your fragments from your Mildred Shop pouch and your Explorer Club shop. Also, events give out these fragments pretty frequently, so make sure you use those when they're available. So for Operation Hope, this dungeon is a very long dungeon compared to what you're used to at this point. You run right continuously following the quest markers to complete a random secret quest each run. The dungeon has a chance of spawning the hidden frog boss. He is just an extra chance of getting an OH piece to drop and some fragments. Once you complete the in-game dungeon, you can more or less clear any way you please, but I recommend you hunt down Bernardo. He is in Sugar Hills and he has a chance of dropping a decent monster card. Do OH a few times and you will more or less be doing this on auto autopilot. It's just a little confusing in the beginning because there's no real in-game tutorial to teach you how to do this. Make sure you get your swap set on all DPS slash synergy characters. It is such a huge increase in damage for how little it takes to do. Hey guys, so we're in game now and I want to show you how to complete your Operation Hope swap set. You mainly do this for DPS or synergy characters where they require a swap set. Uh, buffing characters such as the three satyrs, uh, female satyr, male satyr, and the Kate, their swap set is different. They equip the items they currently have on in their swap set buff enhancement book over here so once you run operation hope a few times you should uh you should get a bunch of these abysmal fragments abyss fragments and you can redeem 500 per one of these boxes in total you need five on your left side three accessories three sub equipments and a weapon for your full swap set it shouldn't take you too long to get this Operation Hope set. Uh, for example, I've been running on this girl pretty casually and I'm at 5,000 Abysmal Fragments. You can also get fragments from the Mallet Shop, which is here, right here, Abyss Fragment Pouches. Or you can buy from Explorer Clubs in the shop on the Need Glory Crystals right here. And events. Events give them out pretty often. so. You you could uh, develop or gain a lot of abyss fragments pretty quickly, but that's besides the point. So once you get enough and you've ran a few times, you ran Operation Hope a few times, you should have a decent amount. You could come here and purchase uh, these pieces, which are 500 a pop. It shouldn't take you too long. I've been running casually and I have four pieces that dropped for me of the swap I want. The main thing you really need to worry about is there's a nine piece set, which is five here. Is it nine piece? Let me see. Yes, nine piece set, which is five on your armors, three on your accessories, and then one on your weapon. That That is the, the fragment set. So that is static for every single character. You don't, you don't change that, which is, it's a weapon, five of the, your left side and three of your accessories. The only thing you really need to worry about in Operation Hope is this, which uh, three piece subs you wanna go for. I normally recommend encroaching if you're not on a main character where you're gonna be investing in plus three titles, uh, swap pets, and um, uh, platinum emblems. You get encroaching because this set gives you plus, th uh, plus three to your skill. That's the, that's the main purpose of your swap set, by the way, is to buff your skill. And warp is the, the end game set that you want, because it gives plus one, but plus three uh, increased damage. So you only really get this one when you have like a plus three title, 
uh, platinum emblem and so on. For alts, I recommend you get uh, the encroaching, which gives plus three. And that's what I'm going to get on this girl. So I'll show you guys how to how to complete your swap set. So you're going to look like how I am, where you run Operation Hopes a few times. You get a few drops that are for your characters. The way you find that out is if you read on top, uh, it'll show you what buff is buffing. And if you are unsure which buff your character is using, you can come to your buff enhancement book and mouse over this and I'll tell you the buff. So my female grappler is using overwhelming grab. So I am looking for pieces that says on the bottom overwhelming grab set. Uh, you have to be careful with some classes that share the same subclasses with between male or female. For this one you notice it has an F uh, next to the overwhelming grab. So it's for female. M Males will say M. So be careful of that. Um, so yeah, you, I have four pieces and all I need is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more pieces. And I have more than enough abyssal fragments to get the eight more pieces. So let's do that. I need three armors. So one, two, three. What else do I need? I need two accessories and two subs. So one, two, and I said I'm gonna go for the this one, the encroaching, the plus three. One, two. Let's open it up. It doesn't matter what day you open it on, if it's superior day or not. Because uh, this is going in your swap set, you only want it for the buff, for the set effect. Which doesn't change dependent on the, the grade rarity of the day. You're never going to equip these, so they don't matter that much what their uh, base stats are. Okay, so I have them. Let me just move them down. I think I'm missing one more thing. So once you have your, your, your gear, you make sure you select them inside your your uh, buff swaps and I'm, I'm missing the weapon so let me go grab it so the weapons are a little bit different because with the weapon you can also upgrade it to make it more powerful uh the way you do that is in the recipe section you could buy the one that's for your buffs for your buff make sure you grab the right one this one's overwhelming grab which is the correct one for my female grappler I'm not gonna buy it because they cost refined terrariums and there's events pretty often where you get this upgrade for free. I don't really recommend you you focus on getting the upgrade for the weapon too much because it's only, uh, what is it? It is a 4% increase, which is a lot when you think about it because it buffs everything because it is your buff. Um, but it's not really worth it to uh, the 20 refined terrariums in my opinion. I usually wait during an event or if I'm balling out of control with, with terrariums then I go ahead and gamble for this because it has a chance of failing a high chance. It's something like a 10% uh, success rate where you upgrade this to an S, an S weapon. Alright so once you do that you can upgrade your, your weapon. And make sure you equip all of this and yeah that's that's literally it that's your buffs uh so that's your buff set for operation hope you run this dungeon a few times and you grab the nine set piece you could press f8 and if everything is highlighted it it shows that the set is activated and then you grab your sub equipment uh set of the one that you're choosing i recommend encroachings for characters that aren't your main for your mains, you want another setup, which I will show you on my grappler, my male grappler, which is my main. So for him, he has a complete setup. I'll show you what it looks like. So he has plus 10, that's your goal, to get to plus 10 uh, buff swap, because that's the max your buffs could go up to. I think satyrs are, uh, buff characters are a little bit different, satyrs. They could go up to however much they want, and they're 
their buff sets are different because they just equip the items they currently have on. They don't really need to go hunt for a swap site in Operation Hope. There are other things you could do, but that's more end game, like uh, putting in different epic sets for a buff character. But if you're worrying about Operation Hope right now, you don't need to worry about putting in extra epic sets for your buff swamps. So she he has a perfect setup which is the, the nine piece which never changes the, if you're a dps character or synergy and then you want to go for warped which is the plus one but it gives plus three uh, increased damage and he has the s upgraded version of his weapon so you do this this setup with a plus three title uh your platinum emblems and that's your goal for your buff set. Once you hit plus 10, you're basically finished until they update the system even more. So yeah, that's that's what a perfect setup looks like. Uh, doing Operation Hope is very valuable. Uh, it increases your damage something like 30, 30% overall. It's crazy. So make sure you do your Operation Hopes. It's very easy to do. It's uh, a weekly dungeon we can run three times, three times a week, and it's very easy if you have level 100 legendaries. You can even do it in uh, level uh, in 96 equipments, which is the Ghent Palace uniques. Those are more than enough to run it. And here's another example of like just a budget setup that I'm doing on all my alts. Every single character should have a buff sweat. It buffs your damage a lot for the very little of this investment it does. So it's your plus nine with uh, the sub equipments of your choosing, which I choose encroaching because it gives plus three. Because I'm not really gonna invest in platinum emblems, or buff titles, uh, creature swaps for all uh, characters that aren't my main. Oh, and let me show you quickly what buffers do. Let me, where's my kitty? <clears throat> so any Seder character you have, they should have a buff set up like this. Where they literally equip the weapons and armors they have on them. Because they have their own set effect. Satyrs, their, their equipments come with their own set effects. And they buff their buff past plus 10. But DPS characters, there's cap at plus 10. Okay, I hope this helps you guys. It's a very easy system to learn once you do it once or twice. It's just a little bit confusing in the beginning. And don't be scared if you make a mistake. You can always go to the NPC and trade in back the, the wrong chest you bought for more materials. Or you could just keep running Operation Hope every week and participate in events which gives uh, the materials for Operation Hope equipments pretty, pretty regularly. Anyway guys, take care out there. If you have any questions, ask in the comment. You can join my Discord. We're more than willing to help you guys. Welcome to the community. And good luck on your swap sets, guys. Bye-bye.